Hi guys, so today I have a video for you sponsored by Tonic Studios. It's for their new stamp club, um, Campfire Critters. Sounds adorable already. Uh, they did send these items free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were purchased items through those links. You guys, look at this little <laughs> fishing bowl. So, uh, Campfire Critters. So we have, you know, a little map, little backpacks, little critters here. We have like a squirrel and a little um, rabbit. Oh, you guys know I love the RV here. Sorry about the glare. The little guitar. You got your campfire, a little log cabin, a tent, and a different type of tent. We have all kinds of uh, wooden like stumps and posts and like little flag. This is just adorable. Flashlight, little um, accessories. You know, we have like a little thermos that kind of looks like there, or maybe a roll. We'll see. Um, we have your little binoculars. I think that looks more like a sleeping bag to me. The little sausage or hot dog on a stick and then we have our marshmallow which is adorable a little sign here leaves and acorns things it's more the merrier would you like to go camping camp stop won't stop <laughs> a lot of funny little puns or punny little things here you know that you're older i forgot <laughs> you still love me you fill my life with adventure so all kinds of little, different little things here and then we have the dies here to coordinate so generally what they do with the stamp club is that there'll be a die for pretty much everything that you can cut or a stamp here excuse me so we have that but we also have like little um clouds we have like little cutouts which is always really fun to kind of place here and there on your paper if you're making like a starry background again to cut the different pieces we have like a waterfall different types of trees the tree that'll cut this guy little tree line that's already kind of set up for you if you want to do the perspective you know differently because these are larger and these are little guys um it looks like a wood log that is really adorable because you can just cut that pop your little guys on there a little canoe and his little paddle, the moon. I mean, there's just lots of fun things that are aside from what you would have here. Um, looks like maybe a little water line and a mountain line. And then it has like the inlay and this outer portion. Super adorable. So what I'm going to do is grab some papers and we will get started. Okay, so I have some different scraps of paper here. There's a few things I want to do. What I think I'm going to do is cover the whole uh, standard A2 size card front with this like pearlescent paper that I had in my stash here. Again, A2 size is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I did mat up the whole thing with that same size because um, I want to use the mountains in the background then do like a little water. So I'm just going to do it this way. But if you want to do it in this direction, that's cute too. You just cut off those edges that hang off, you know, the sides there. So I'm just going to glue this down just to start, I think. All right, there we go. Getting to the very end of this bottle. Now again, if you want to layer them up so that you have like a starry sky, you can definitely, you know, do another topper. Use the little stars to cut into that, put it on top. And this light blue will show through, however, but I want mine to look like a very crisp day, I suppose. And so we have that. Then I have some scraps of paper that I brought out, so let me get these. Just to kind of build up a little scene and then we'll go from there. So I do want to make like a little canoe and the paddle. So I have this red paper, some classic card there and some craft paper here. So I'll cut the that little guy out of the craft card and this little guy out of the red. There's not a stamp for this one. It has a little bit of texture with that little ridge there. So I thought a red canoe would be very cute. So I'll cut those guys out. And then we're going to have a little creature in there, but... To set things up, I may or may not use these green trees. If I do, I'm going to come out of different green colors. I didn't bring any out yet. Um, kind of want to play with this a little bit and see where we're going with that. So, And then the water. So there's a few different things I want to do for this. Now let me think. This is five and a half. Let me cut some paper down five and a half inches wide and then just whatever happens. I just need a scrap of paper that I'll show you what I want to do with that. Okay, so I have some paper here. This is the one, five and a half. Hold on, sorry. Yeah, so I have this piece of paper that's like five and a half by four. I'm going to ink this up with a lot of blue inks, and we're, we're going to make like like a water background. Same thing with this little scrap, because I think I'm going to use the waterfall, and I'm going to have it cut out basically of the same kind of paper that's like blue and, you know, mottled and stuff. So we'll put that to the side for now. I'm going to use that piece to cut different layers of like water, so it looks kind of like rapids, I guess. And then this top one, I don't really know how long this needs to be. But from whatever scrap of white paper that I have, I will cut something like this out with the inlay. 
Oh, no, you know what I'm going to do? No, on this one, it's just going to be the white, just like this. Sorry, guys. And like I said, it just, you know, depends on how high you want your card or the perspective, but at the same time, you know, you can kind of layer it up in a way that you don't really need the whole bottom to be the whole bottom of the card, you know? I don't need it to be this whole thing. But if you wanted to, you know, just kind of measure, think about where you want to put it. So we have that one, just in white, and then I'm also going to do the same thing. Oh, do I have enough scrap of paper for this one? I might have to grab another piece of paper. Hold on. I'll need a bigger piece for this guy. I thought that scrap would work, but it does not. Okay, so um, I'll probably go ahead and cut this five and a half inches wide, and then again, like three or four inches deep, because I don't really know how exactly how deep I want this to be. But we'll put those pieces. So what happens is that inlay, well, of course we're going to tape this down so it doesn't move, but the inlay will cut out this little bit, so what's behind it will show through, which is white, so it looks like maybe melting snow. And then uh, we'll start layering it up, and then we'll do our little character, okay? I'll be okay. right back. So we have our card base. I'll bring that back. This little guy, I kind of layered him up about the same. Like I said, you don't have to cover the whole front of your card with it. You just have a scrap of paper that you just need a little bit of area. But these were both five and a half by like four, I think, is what I start off with. And I might trim those down. It just depends. But it's going to be like this, right? And then in here, I want to put like little water. So like I said, I might move them down. I'm just going to play with that when I get there, but... For now, we just have these two, and I'll probably go ahead and glue them together. So I'll put glue on the back of this and just adhere them. Okay, so those will be together. We have our little canoe. <laughs> so cute. I was going to make it brown, but I thought all red would be really sweet. Look at that. And then our little paddle. So we have those guys. And what I was trying to say as far as making like water or something like that, I'm going to take these pieces again. This is like five and a half by four ish. And this is just the scrap that was on the other side. And we're just going to do some rough, like, just coloring on this. And I probably should have grabbed the ink already. On both of these, since um, I, I want to keep this kind of pristine, because I'm going to cut layers, so I just want to keep this straight. Otherwise, I would cut this from this also, but not right now. Oh, good. <laughs> so I have some faded jeans here. And... Honestly, I'm just grabbing whatever's around me. I know this one's kind of dark, but I just want it to look like rapids, but also, you know, the white water rapids have like a lot of white kind of foam, I think. I don't know. I try to stay away from that kind of thing <laughs> every time we've gone to like Arizona or any of these things. It's not my thing, but very pretty. So I'm just trying to color this up. And then after we do some die cutting, I'll also do the edges, I think, with some more just to give it more color. So I'm just doing this very rough. Same thing with this guy. And this just needs to be as deep as this is. You know, something like that. Go a little bit darker with this one because we want it to stand out. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Now I can just cut strips and then go for it. I think what I'm going to do is just place this on the edge, run it through, cut a little bit off place that on that edge, run it through, or just keep using this to help me cut it, and then this bottom one needs to have a flat edge, so it's at the bottom of our paper, however, you know what I'm saying, so if I did it this way, I would start here, let's say I'll tape that down and run it through, and that'll be like the, the first kind of water layer, I'll probably do two or three layers, that sounds good, so hopefully that makes sense, let me show you, you know, I like to recycle my little washi, <laughs> but I'll place that there, and just uh, pop that out. And then once that's cut, I'll take this and I'll move it up and I'll cut another layer and another layer. Okay, now I'll be right back. And then this guy, I'm just going to run through like that. Okay, guys, so let's bring these pieces back. So for this one, again, I put the thing there. And then the second one, I kind of turned it around instead of it cutting. But you can just turn the piece of paper. You can just use this as your top. But this came from here. Hopefully you can see that. And then this was here. So the first time I die cut it, I die cut it, you know, like this, I think. And then the second time I die cut it this way, just to give more texture and, like, rapids kind of moving. I don't know. Okay, so, and then this one, since it's just cut, I'll just go in the opposite direction like this. See? <laughs> so now it looks like different layers. Right? And then I did say I was going to top these off with a little bit of color. That way it's more noticeable. I might even paper piece some white back into this just so that it looks... More like white, kind of foamy coming down there, so let's try and do that. But for now, I'm just going to take this, 
and just give it some edging so that the edges pop a little more, okay? I'll do that with all three edges and all that. It's kind of something like this, and honestly, I think I like keeping it just the way it is. And then we have that last layer in the back. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect at the bottom because you're going to cover that anyway. This layer, and then this one, I think I'm going to pop up a little bit just so it has like a different little something. And then this little cascading waterfall will come off of somewhere. Probably one of these two, right? As the snow's melting. And then, like I said, maybe I'll paper piece back in some of the um, some white pieces. I don't know. We'll see about that part. But for now, let's get this little guy. Okay. So, um, and then we have our canoe and things over here. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and stamp my little guy. And I'm just trying to find some marker paper. That's a big piece. We just need a smaller piece, okay. <laughs> this will be good. And I'm gonna stamp who looks like they're holding an oar. I guess they both could just be sitting there. He looks like he's holding an oar, doesn't he? Let's see our little our little oar. <laughs> oh cute. Yeah, I think it's gonna be him. So let's stamp this little guy. Again, photopolymer stamps. Smell awesome. I'm going to use a little bit of a hybrid ink here. I'm going to color him in just with alcohol ink markers. So, you know, just some brown, maybe some darker brown, light brown. I might quickly look up what a squirrel looks like. I forget if they have a colored nose or if it's just like a little black nose. And I'll color him in, okay? And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, I did cut some extra little trees. I might tuck them in here and there, kind of like what you're seeing here, but let's just put that to the side for now. <laughs> we have our little guy, and we're just going to cut him out. And so I just need the die that's his shape. Little sweetie. You know, I am also going to do is, let me see. I'm going to trace around him because I know it's going to leave a little area. This is a very light color. Maybe I should go with a deeper one. One second. And I'm just going to put a blue line around him, just so when it die cuts, there's going to be a little blue edge around him a little bit. And then go ahead and line this up. Of course, tape it down and run it through. Okay. And I'll be right back. So I think this is what my little scene's going to look like. Super sweet. Got our little guy. Again, I gave him that little blue outline. He'll sit in his little boat. And I don't know if I'm going to put him like behind the boat or right on top of it or however, but... Let's move some of these things out of the way for right now. We're not going to use that yet. Or this. Let me go ahead and build up my little scene. So basically these pieces. Alright. <laughs> and all I did was square this up. I know a little bit of the white was sticking out. So I just um, trimmed it down with my guillotine. So again I started this off 5.5 by 4 inches. And then just cut a little bit off the top of the white and the brown. You know, laid the die and just cut that off. And then these guys, I'm putting up a little bit higher than I had planned that way. I can put some trees in the foreground without making the trees look like they're just coming out of the water. Which you can, you could still imagine, obviously, that they'd be like in the ground. I am going to keep it straight across here, though. But if you wanted to, you know, have a little edge that was more fun, you can definitely, you know, use one of these guys. Um and trim it again here but I think I'm gonna do it just like that but again I want some trees in this background so I'm gonna pop these little guys down and that third layer that I have I was going to kind of um, the third water layer I'm gonna pop it up I think with some dimensional so I'm not gonna glue that when we get there I do want these to be a little bit small you know we're thinking about perspective and things <laughs> Obviously, this is a cartoony thing. It doesn't have to be literal, but it's going to be something like that. Then we're going to have the waterfall in here and this, so that looks good. This little guy. Yeah, a little higher up than I had planned. That's looking good. And this little guy, and then there'll be a little space with like some room here. Looks good. It's gonna be popped up here. 
Okay. So before I pop that up again, do I want this little guy kind of inside? I think I do want him in there. So we're just going to barely put a little glue here just to get that going. <laughs> little cutie. He'll be in here somewhere. I think the next thing I want to put down is go ahead and put down my waterfall. And I'm putting it over here so that the rapids are behind them, you know. But I was trying to think, do I want it to connect to this being popped up? I don't think so, because I think I want to keep it flat, and I want to fill in these areas with white paper. So let's say he's here, and he has his little... Let's say he's back here. So we can make this come off of here. It's a waterfall. It can do whatever it wants. <laughs> It would be something like that. I still kind of pop this up. Where do I want to put that? There? Sure. So I'm going to stick this down completely. And then I'm going to come in and fill just the parts in with... Um, I think maybe like that. And I'm going to hold that down. I'm going to run this same die through on the other piece of this white paper. So I'm going to use the white cutouts, okay? So I'm just going to stick that on there and run it through and keep these pieces very carefully because we're going to pop them back in here. And then we're going to have this popped up here, okay? I'll be so right back. I'm super careful with these pieces. Just kind of lift this up and let them kind of fall down. And I'll work in batches, so like I have the ones for this area. There's a couple stuck up here, but that'll take care of that. I'm going to put a little glue in here. Maybe two or three at a time. And I'll come in here and I'll grab these little guys. Oopsie. And pop it in there. Okay, so just, you know, I'll take my time with it. I think they're the ones over here, so I'll take this one. And just stick that down. Okay, so I'm just going to go through and do that with all these little areas. Okay. I just pieced all that in there, and I think I'm actually going to keep it flat now that I think about it, because if I have my little trees, I want them to be nice and flat. So there's that. So we'll place this little guy in here, get him his little paddle, <laughs> and add our sentiment. So cute. Let's see where do we want them like in here. And I was keeping this back here, but since I am going to keep it flat, if you wanted that to be above this, then you could definitely arrange for that. So cute. Let's see here. I'll put this guy. So I'll just put some glue, glue that down, and then glue this guy down here. Okay, and I'll grab And then we're just going to glue this little guy down. Suppose if you want to take an X Acto and just slice like right in here. And right there, you can slide this in between his little arms. But I am just going to place it there. Okay, you can also place it behind him sticking out there and here, but I want it to be kind of in the front. So cute. Okay, and what else do we got? Oh, our sentiment. So let me think about what I want to do for that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'll use the little sentiment that says, uh, you fill my life with adventure. Very sweet. And I'm just going to cut it straight across, I think, so I'm using the straightest side, I think, of this paper. Just some white paper here. And let's just put this right at the top and see if we can get it pretty straight. And all I have to do is just trim it down a little bit. Oopsie. <laughs> it really wants to stick. So whenever you get a new photopolymer stamps, they are um, they have a dispersion layer that's a little bit sticky. Something like that. And then we will ink this up.
Okay, and then I'll just trim it down and we'll pop that on. So cute. I'll be right back. So I just turned that down and I just put some dimensional adhesives on the back of that. And so let me see if I want that down here. That's cute. Maybe in here. I'll move it if I decide it needs to be down lower, but I think that looks pretty cute. So there is a whole scene just built up uh, with the die cutting, a little bit of coloring here of this little stamped image, and really sweet. So thank you so much, uh, Tonic Studios, for sponsoring this video, for sending these items for review, and I will have some images for you guys. I'll have the links in the description box. Super, super sweet. All right, guys, I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.